Austin City Council is receiving a progress report on APD's reimagined Cadet Academy. Yesterday we broke down some of the key findings so far from the independent group hired by the city to monitor the revamped class. As KXAN's Daniel Marine reports, we're hearing from those who helped craft some of those changes. I'm very happy with a lot of the changes. Kathy Mitchell is part of the panel that's been reviewing the new curriculum for the 144th Cadet Academy. She's glad to see a bigger focus on de-escalation techniques, but she feels moving forward, there's much more for cadets to learn when it comes to verbal commands. How officers communicate with people. Uh, and we've seen that in the past in some of the cases where we all kind of look back and go, that shouldn't have happened. A lot of it involves how those officers arrived and then how their first communication went. I can speak for the residents. In the report presented to the City Council Thursday, the consulting firm Kroll & Associates said it does appear APD is making the most of their recommended changes. There's still quite a bit of work to be done. Joyce James was brought on by the city in 2020 to work with the police department on racial inequities. While the cadets are learning more about the racial history of Austin as well as the systemic advantages that come with the badge, James says she realizes changing the culture of the department won't happen with one academy class. And to do that in a way that's not about pointing fingers and laying blame, nor about doing it in a way that makes people feel they're being called racist, takes some time. That was Daniel Marine reporting. Now it is worth noting this academy has lost 19 cadets who either missed too much of the academy because of illness or injury or they failed the consultant's final report. That is coming out in March. Austin police also revealed today to the city council what military equipment is in the police inventory currently. Following the George Floyd protests last year, the department was tasked with cataloging those items in the department. The Department of Defense has a law enforcement support office to make military surplus available, but there were concerns regarding a militarized police force in Austin following those protests last year. Items not approved have been disposed of. The department telling us those pre-approved items still in inventory include mainly gear for the SWAT team, there are also helicopter replacement parts and a stock of medical equipment from the U.S. military. APD added that they will also submit approval to the city manager's office for any other designated military equipment that they might need. 